<laughs> Come on, Rhonda, you can, you can share this. Yeah. This is easy. Christine. Yeah. This is a great story. I just got to hear it. And I feel like if I tell it, you know, I'm, I'll leave something out. So I'm going to yep. ask Rhonda to tell it. But it's a great story. It's about the power in music and what music can do. And sometimes, you know, if, you, if you've ever experienced grief, I've gone through grief, and I know it can be really, it can be so hard. And nothing, you know, I remember when I was grieving over my brother's death. And nothing could bring me out of it. There were times, and, and uh, I come from a family of six. There's four boys and two girls. You met my sister coming in at the table. And um, I remember when my brother, who was out of the four, the youngest out of the four, he was three years older than me. And he died when he was in his 30s. And, and I was three years younger than him. And uh, when that happened, I'll never forget. He was in a coma for about 10 years. He had... Uh, he actually had an overdose, and he had a brain stem. He needed, actually, a new brain stem, but he would come out of the coma a little bit, and then he, uh, you know, he, you know, he just, you know, would relapse. And uh, my mom, I'm telling you, every day she was up there, that was like her, it was like she had a ministry, <laughs> and that was her ministry. She was there day and night with him, nonstop, for those 10 years. And... Uh, you know, it was surprising to all of us at the end of the 10 years when he gave up his last breath and said, you know, I'm going on and I'll see y'all later. It was hard on everybody. And I just remember for days, you know, just being in this like stupor was like this, this dark cloud that was over my head. And I was just so down. I was so grieving and, uh, and nothing, you know, can really touch me. Nothing could really touch me, but I remember one day uh, just beginning to sing, and I just began to sing, and whatever that was that was hanging over my head, that grief, that, that cloud, it just began to lift as I just began to sing. You know, and tears would come. I mean, I was like one of those people that I'd be out in public anywhere, and tears would just start coming down, you know, right after his, his passing. And... Um, this was what helped me get through what I'm doing tonight, singing, was what helped me get through it. And so there is therapy in music, and there's something that heals the heart. There's something that touches the soul through music that nothing else can touch. And I believe God created it that way. You know, there's, there's so many different things that happen when we hear music and, and the frequency of music. It's a, it's a whole, you know, study in itself, but it's a powerful thing. But um, anyway, I want to share with you this story because I believe it will touch you like I was touched when I heard about it. Thank you, Christine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I do well. <laughs> yeah, she pushes us out there, you know. She, oh, yeah. she, she's a behind-the-scenes person. But I'm pushing her out there, too. Thank you. Uh, when my daughter Savannah was in the fifth grade, uh, she enjoyed singing. And my daughters just love to sing. And um, her music teacher had asked her if she would sing um, Time to Say Goodbye for uh, the sixth grade graduating class. And so uh, the principal of the school played the piano for her, and she learned this song in Italian. And um, she was going to go practice in her uh, music teacher's room. And she happened to have a class of kindergartners in there at the time, asked if the kids could stay and listen. So, this can make me cry. <laughs> so it's, Savannah went in and started singing. This one little five-year-old started to cry, just, and they had to take her out. And as it happens, her mother had just died. And she, her mother had used to sing that song to her. Mm -hmm. When she would go to bed at night, she sang her that song. <laughs> and so she was just, I think it was just the right time for Savannah to be singing for that little girl. Amen. Yes. 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 Thank Amen. you, Rhonda. Let's, yes. let's thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I just, I truly believe that, that God created music and he, he put some healing properties in it and some mm -hmm. abilities, you know, to be able to heal the wounded soul. And I know there have been many occasions when I would sing a song 
I want to, you know, thank my mother who's here tonight uh, for <laughs> uh, She's a superstar, but I want to thank her so much because, you know, when I was growing up, uh, she used to work at night and I would sing, you know, I'd come home from school and, and like I said, it was my music was always my therapy. And so I would put on the music back then. It was like, you know, the big records you put on the stereo and the 45s. And I put on those, <laughs> you remember? <laughs> okay, and uh, so I would uh, put on those big records and I would just sing, and I would sing all night long. I'd sing until 11 o'clock, as long, as late as I could at night. And uh, she worked at night, and so she, you know, kind of scream out from time to time and say, hey, turn that noise down, you know? <laughs> but nonetheless, she never told me to turn it off. And she just, you know, would allow me to sing. and. I remember back in those days, uh, you know, my father would just sit on the couch and he'd fall asleep on the couch and he'd always, he'd just sit there and listen to every song I sang. If I sang it a hundred times, he'd listen to it. He was my greatest fan. <laughs> 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 yeah, since, you know, gone to glory, but I know he's listening, you know, as I'm singing tonight. And so, Mom, thank you for listening to all the songs that you listened to over the years. And, um, 